This week on Inside Africa. The rites of passage, long-held traditions come under fire for the health risks they pose. Do the benefits outweigh those risks? The fight against polio, the United Nations Children's Fund on a mission to vaccinate children against the crippling disease. And dancing to the rhythms of Africa across the United States. How Congolese musician Kofi Olomide is spreading the beat. Hello, I'm Jim Clancy, and welcome to another edition of Inside Africa, our weekly look at news and life on the continent. Thanks, Jim. And this week, we'll go dancing with Congolese musician Kofi Olomide. He was in the U.S. recently, thrilling audiences as he toured the country. And the reaction from the fans somehow surprised him. He came, he played, he conquered. For Kofi Olomide, the audience um, was on their feet up and down and at the end I mean they really didn't want to let him go. Congo's Kofi Olomide, he and his Cotier Latin band took on the United States this summer performing in several cities. The highlight when they joined several African artists at the summer festival at New York's prestigious Lincoln Center. The concert which brought in such high-profile musicians as Senegal's Yuso Ndour and Mali's Super Rail Band rocked the classical music venue. Joining them on the bill, Sheikh Lowe, also of Senegal, teaming up with South Africa's Amam Pando Band. After New York, Olomide, Cote Latin, and the 24 gold-clad dancers finished the rest of a five-city U.S. tour. But for Olomide, New York was the realization of a dream to strut his stuff on one of the U.S.'s most respected stages. In the past, uh, my tour in the USA was for African living in America. At this time in Lincoln Center, it was a really a, a very big event because I, I sang for everybody living in America. And for the audience, the festival was a chance to see how a continent immersed in traditional music that has permeated global sounds and rhythms does pop. It was really pretty incredible to see people from all walks of life, all ages, um, everybody had a smile across their face. Olomide now lives in Paris, but he's a superstar across his native land, now the Democratic Republic of Congo. That's no small feat in a country that's been torn apart by two civil wars. Olomide insists that his native land is still at the top of Africa's musical chart. Congo is applauded today because of his musicians, his music. His passion lies in love songs, but Olomide and his African colleagues cannot escape their people's strife. It's a message he also brought to U.S. audiences. I told the people that uh, we are happy today uh, during this show, but uh, you American, you can't f forget Africa. You can't forget that Africa is crying. Congo, my country, is crying. But in true Congolese style, he then brought the people to their feet to dance. Quite a star. This gifted musician hopes someday to work on a project to benefit African children. His goal is to collaborate with stars like Jennifer Lopez, Janet Jackson, or Whitney Houston. Back to you, Jim. All right, Alicia, thanks for that. Well, as always, Inside Africa would like to hear from you. Send us your comments, or if you know of an event that we should add to our calendar, why don't you send us an email at insideafrica at cnn.com. That's all for this week's show. I'm Jim Clancy. For me, Zane Toomey, Femi, Alicia, and the entire Inside Africa team. Thanks for being with us. Inside Africa is sponsored by South African Airways.